What's up guys, it's me Schmoblock here and in this video guys I'll be showing you my design of the most compact 2x2 two two spiral door in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So um this is how the door works. And here's the open and close opening and closing. When the door's closing, it takes a little bit more time, longer time, and I'll t I'll teach you guys that. So I will be sure teaching you guys and making a tutorial about this, um, my design of the two by two spiral door. So this door is being powered by this le lever. The lever powers up this this bit of redstone and this one. So this redstone dust powers up this piston which pushes this um, concrete block one up. So then the other redstone dust, piece of redstone dust here is, uh, no, not is, it pushes this, it powers up this sticky piston, which pushes up the redstone block. And then this redstone block, this redstone block powers up this piston and this piston. So what this piston does is it basically pushes this um, this concrete block once forward so it'll look like this and if this one is being um, powered up too so then this redstone block also powers up the sticky piston which makes this redstone block go one one up and power up this whole redstone line so what this piston does is it again like the other ones pushes the concrete block one um one block forward and then it also and then this red and then this redstone line also powers up this sticky piston with the redstone block on top of it which powers up this um this sticky piston with the concrete block on top of it to make it go one forward like that and this is what it looks like show you guys again and now i'll teach you guys how why why it makes like a spiral when it's called opening and closing so it's all because um the piss the when the sticky so first the this this block gets powered up and then the powers up this piston with the redstone block on it the redstone block um the sticky piston so it takes time to push the redstone block one up and power up this one and then when it does when this push piston does push the concrete block one forward it also this redstone block also powers up this redstone block and that takes um, more time so this pis this sticky piston will push the concrete block down um, fast um, af a little after and then same same thing here the redstone block gets pushed down onto the piston and the piston gets and then the piston pushes the concrete block one forward and the reason why the closing is a lot faster than the opening is because when you're closing it the piston has to push the redstone block forward and it has to be like fully set it can't be halfway there because then the pistons won't be powered up so it has to go all the way up there but when it's pulling it down, or when the piston is pulling the redstone block down, it takes um, it takes less time. It takes less time to do it because when it pulls it, when the redstone block gets pulled down just a little bit, these two pistons already get po are already powered off. So that's why it takes it um, longer to close it. Then does it. So this is the last. This is the last one. It's the um, last version of it that I actually made. There's a lot more that I built, like this one. But it was really big. It kind of didn't, and it was. I it, it was just really big. And this is the first one I tried using redstone blocks. It basically, has the same principles. 
the closing is longer than the opening. Except this one had a lot more had a lot more stuff. Like it was a lot bigger. And yeah, this is the first one I this is the first one I made. And this one uses repeaters, so the opening and closing is the same speed. But this one actually had the glass block there. So also with um the newest one I made there has to be a hole here. Um when you open the door there's a there needs to be a hole here because when you're closing it the redstone block needs a place to be. It needs an empty space so that it can be pushed down. And yeah, that's it for this video guys. Um hope you enjoyed it and yeah, see you in the next video. If you like the videos I post on my channel, then consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. So, goodbye guys.